before we start, what if Gohan was raised by rats? The movie is out. You should check that out. I worked pretty hard on it. And I don't understand why the movies aren't doing so well, but I'll tell you that after the video. Even you all don't care about that. You just want to know what if Cooler was canon. So I'll give it to you. For all you voted, thank you. Now let's get on to the what if. We cut to the birth of Cooler. King Cole would have two children, one Cooler a year older than Frieza, but they are both very different. Cooler actually trained and fought alongside his men. This disgusted King Cole. Frieza was spoiled like him. And Cooler had great ideas of what to do with the Empire. He always wanted to expand and do better. But King Cole was scared of Beerus and thought if they just kept doing what they're doing, they would be okay. This would slowly create a rift. As the years passed, King Cold became more and more distant from Frieza. One day, as Cooler was conquering a planet, he would get a message from his father. King Cold was stepping down, and he was putting Frieza in charge. This angered Cooler. Cooler was the one who did the work. Cooler was the one who trained with his men. Cooler was the one who took over planets. And Cooler was the one who spread the word of the Empire. So why? Why does Frieza take power? All he ever does is talk to King Cold and sit on his lazy ass. Kula was angry as he flew over to their capital planet, landed and demanded to talk to his father. King Cold walked out and said, what is it, Cooler? Why'd you choose Frieza over me? King Cold laughed and said, isn't it obvious? All you ever do is fight and expand our empire, which is nice, but you act like a grunt. That's all you ever think about is war. You don't think about politics. You don't think about anything else. Cooler says, I do. You see, Beerus is trying to... King Cold would then get angry. Beerus, huh? You're worried about all these galactic people? All these people above us planning how to get rid of them? Guess what? There's orders. We take our orders and we rule this empire. We live a good life. Why ruin that? You put us all at stake, Cooler. With your wreck- Beers could destroy us all. There's powers way above us. Sure, I would like to rule everything, but we can't. There's limitations, but we are the strongest mortals, and we should take pride in that. We should take pride in what we are, but you don't. You always want more, Cooler, and that one and more will drive our empire to the grave. Cooler would then yell at him, you're an idiot who's satisfied with this. Wanting more is about strength. It's about power. You should always want more. You should always better yourself. Better yourself. We're perfect. You don't understand the perfection of our race, Cooler. I don't think you ever did. You always hangered out with lesser, inferior beings. You are a disgrace to our name. Cooler would then spit in his father's face. As King Cole would then yell at him, Cooler would just simply walk away and fly out into space. He didn't know what he was doing, not yet, but he had to get an idea. You see, he was tired of this empire anyway. He wanted to rule the empire, but his father wouldn't let him. He could simply try to kill him and kill Frieza, but their powers are similar, so it is pretty risky. Cooler decided he would train, and he would get a crew, a crew with the purpose of killing Frieza and King Cold to take the empire that he so desperately needed. Cooler would go off to distant planets, planets far away from Frieza's empire, and train to get stronger. He would also look for a crew, a crew to call his own. And at first, he would have no luck. Eventually, however, though, he would hear of the Armored Squadron, an elite mercenary group. One day, as the Armored Squadron was wiping out a planet, Cooler would appear behind them. They would all look at him and get ready. They heard about Cooler. The brother of Frieza who was thrown out of the Empire. They said, what do you want with us? We don't work with Frieza's people. Kula would laugh and say, I'm not with my brother. He's a spoiled brat. I'm here to build my own force. And I think you guys can help me with that. The armored squadron looked confused. Cooler seemed like a good fighter, but Frieza just relied on raw power and used his sway to get his way. He never really fought for himself. Maybe Cooler was just desperate, or maybe he was nothing like Frieza. They didn't really know. So they decided to fight him. All right, Salsa said, we'll join you if you can beat us all in a fight. They would all three charge at Cooler, and Cooler would smirk as he dodged all of their attacks. 
He kept dodging again and again and again to tire them out. Then he punched Souza to the ground and grabbed both of them, throwing them into the floor, defeating them easily. As he laughed, is that all you got? I'll admit, you're much stronger than normal people, but you're still nothing compared to me. But come on, we have work to do. The rest of the crew nodded their head as they all went off with Cooler. Cooler continued the train. He felt like there was a form, a form that he could unlock, a form that could allow him to defeat Frieza. He trained and trained and trained for years on end to get this power. But he reached some sort of limiter, some sort of barrier. It was hard for him to grow. He barely even grew at all. He just needed this form. However, one day as he was watching his cameras, he something was going on in Frieza's empire. Cooler always had eyes there and always watched from afar. His training actually did manage to help him grow quite a bit. But he was still stuntered. This angered him. However, he knew if he played his cards right, he could still get stronger than his brother. He might even be stronger than him now. He didn't know, but he didn't want to risk it and fight him and King Cold. It was best to seize an opportunity once he saw it. An opportunity he would see. Suddenly, Frieza would blow up Planet Vegeta. This shocked Cooler, but then it started to make sense. The Saiyans were a strong warrior people that would never stay loyal forever. It seems that his brother was smarter than he thought. He underestimated him. However, he realized something. He would see a tiny space pod flying away towards Earth. That's when Cooler got an idea. Solza, yes my lord? Bring that baby to me at once. I want him in this base now. But sir, he's going to Earth. That's far away. We could get spotted. Don't worry. Go in a small pod. No one will care. I have an idea. Cooler would ask what planet is Vegeta on now, and they would point it out. Cooler would then quickly go over there, knowing he didn't have much time left. Frieza must have ordered Vegeta back. Cooler realized that Frieza could have just killed Vegeta, so the fact that he's on a different planet means he has plans for him. Well, Cooler has plans for him too. As if Vegeta was there with Nappa and Raditz, suddenly they would hear footsteps. As Nappa would turn on his scouter, it would suddenly break as the power level went so high. He began to shake as Cooler walked in. They were all confused. Some thought it was Frieza at first, but it didn't look much like him. Of course, they were obviously related, but they were used to Frieza in his first form. This looked nothing like that. Nappa would say, who are you? I am Cooler, Frieza's brother, and I have a proposition for you. And information, Cooler would say. As Vegeta would look at him and say, Oh, what's that? Your planet was blown up by Frieza. They all looked shocked, except for Vegeta, who didn't care. They were surprised. First, they get told an asteroid blew up, and they were told Cooler blew it up. Could they even trust him? Well, Cooler could have just killed them all. So I guess it makes sense. Vegeta goes, why are you telling me this? Because I want to team up with you. You see, you all can give me intel from the inside of Frieza's empire. I have cameras and lookouts, but they don't give me much. But this way I can get far more, and you can even sabotage them. And you can all train too, because one day I will get my revenge. Frieza kicked me out of the empire and took what was rightfully mine. And he destroyed your planet. It seems like we both hate him. Vegeta agreed, so did the rest of the Saiyans, as Cooler then flew back to his main base. And as he got there, baby Kakarot was there. Salsa would say, why'd you even make me take this little brat in? Cooler would say, Saiyans are said to have great potentials. I wonder if I could train one. If it doesn't go well, I'll just dispose of him. But I'm intrigued to see how this will go, Cooler says as he laughs. Cooler then began to raise Kakarot. He knew his name, the Saiyan said it earlier, and he was going to use Kakarot as a tool, a weapon, to help him defeat Frieza. He was also going to use the other Saiyans. Cooler had men inside of Frieza's empire, and Cooler had his own elite force. Cooler seemed like he was getting the upper hand on his brother, but he couldn't reach the form, not quite yet. However, he knew he was close. However, he knew soon 
Soon he will reach this new transformation, and when he does, his brother will be dead. And that's where I leave things off. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know the think of the video down below. And before I go, I just want to say, I don't know why you guys aren't watching my movies. I'm not complaining. I love you all. I'm glad you watched my content. But if you have an idea, let me know. Maybe it's the thumbnails. Maybe it's because they used to do great. But the next, last couple ones didn't do good at all. And I just don't know why. Anyway, peace out. Love you all.